Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, probably going to call this video "Haters Will Hate," um, and it has to do with the general negativity around Windows 11. Um, you know, I saw a lot of comments um, over the years, and over the last months, and over the last week, and even today. When I start talking about Windows 11, if you like it or not. There's a lot of people that love it. I am one of those. I like Windows 11. I don't like the crapification of it by ads and things like that. But overall, if you remove that side, I do like the operating system itself. I find that, um, especially the settings app, is way more organized than what's on Windows 10. Windows 10's settings app is like really a mixed bag of all sorts of things. Here they took time to you know, reposition a lot of the options in a more logical way, and I like that. It is definitely better here. It is very stable. I have no problem with Windows 11 on any of my machines, um, and it is it works great. Um, now, where does the hate come from? First of all, we got to realize one thing. Hate exists every time a new Windows operating system appears. So basically, I've seen as a tech guy, everybody hate Windows XP because it didn't wasn't compatible with tons of things that Windows 98 was. Their printers didn't work anymore. And they just didn't like the interface and why did they change with a new Windows? And this continued throughout. I mean, Windows 7 has its share of haters, too. Now, Windows 8 is a special case. The interface was dra drastically changed way too much. It was uh, There was a big mistake at, at the part of Microsoft. That one was hated for a different reason. But when you look at the ones that are generally just Windows operating systems that look like Windows... Um, 8 is there on every version. Windows 10 was also hated terribly. And, you know, now it's, for a lot of people, one of the best OS out there ever for Windows. And hate on Windows 11 comes in a different way. Yes, there were changes in the, you know, the interface, the, the start menu isn't the same. And there absolutely is place for, you know, making it better. But I think more the 8 from Windows 11 comes much more in the form of all the people that were left behind that just couldn't move on to uh, Windows 11. You know, the number one reason why uh, that, that people don't like Windows 11 is the minimum requirements. Their PC is, PC is incompatible. It's not even having a Microsoft account. Having a Microsoft account pushed on you on Windows 11 is barely making the top 10 of what people care. People don't care. A lot of people have a Microsoft account, and they just don't care about signing in with it. I don't care signing in with it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of the, uh, the mistrust that I think is misguided, but, you know, everybody has its own reasons uh, for sure. But haters are always going to hate and I can bet you if instead of Windows 11 24H2 we'd have Windows 12 um, haters would say wow what an horrible operating system again and especially because it still would continue with the minimum requirements that are so high so you know um, it's it's the way it is it's always been like that but with Windows 11 I think it's Increased by that minimum requirement that a lot of people unfortunately don't like, and uh, you know, and, and it's true that it's kind of very arbitrary. Um, there's not that much explanation on part of Microsoft as why, uh, you know, except for security reasons and the TPM and all of that. But um, there will always be haters, and that is the way it is. And I think their amplification of haters also by, you know, having all of these media, having YouTube where you can actually, you know, uh, post a comment. And, I mean, look at the number of, of people that don't like Windows 11. 
and then there's all the when the Linux fanboys that come here and say it was like, well, time to move to Linux. Not, um, you know, it's just interesting to see all the mixed bag in here. But I think with Windows 11, it's gotten worse, and it's gotten worse because for a long time we weren't used to have to having a a, a Windows that requires such high minimum requirements. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.